did it take a whistleblower? Why did it take a whistleblower? Why did it take a whistleblower? Are you the one? Why did it take a whistleblower? The I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to get over my male colleagues. Why did it take a whistleblower? Yeah. To sound the alarm and for the Globe and Mail to publish a paper for your government to act? Well, obviously you heard the Prime Minister. There is an investigation that is happening. My uh, colleague, uh, uh, the Minister of Public Safety, could answer directly your question. At the same time, we decided to take action based on the confirmation uh, that uh, Mr. Vignon gave, uh, and therefore it is. Uh, but you had it two now. years ago. Your government had it two years ago. How do you justify a, two MPs? There's others named according to the reporting. There's others involved. Like I'm the How minister of foreign affairs. It? My job is to make you are sure a that federal we, cabinet minister. my job is to make sure that as foreign minister, I deal with the relationship with China when it comes to issues of foreign interference. We've been clear we would be uh, sending our diplomats packing if that's the case, and that's what we. Do. And is it unacceptable? Yes. 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 Minister, the travel advisory is often updated at this point. Is the risk to Canadians in China unchanged? Well, the travel advisory already says that uh, Canadians should make sure to um, uh, show high caution when taking their decision to travel to China, mm -hmm. and uh, we will uh, adapt it uh, uh, to make sure that the, there are uh, that Canadians are always made aware of what are the different risks linked to traveling in a foreign country. <laughs> It's a decision in principle that was based precisely on allegations that have been confirmed. Consequently, we're going to ensure that we continue to make principled decisions throughout. But now are you getting ready for other measures? The aim is still and will always be to think about all of the different consequences, to reflect on the different factors at play. That's why the decision to expel the Consul General in Toronto was not a decision taken lightly. I think it's the decision that we had to make, and it took a certain amount of time, but ensuring that the situation is managed calmly and seriously. Sanctions, such as so, you know, China finding safety concerns with Canadian exports or imports. I'll answer your question Canada. because this was the question that was asked to me in French. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, this is a, a decision that was not taken lightly. It is a decision that was taken based on considering many factors and also many of Canada's interests in the world, including uh, in China. And so it needed to be thoughtful, it needed to uh, uh, take some time, and we needed to make sure that we did this in a very serious matter. And so therefore, we take note of uh, the decision by China to expel Jennifer Lalonde, as mentioned. Uh, we think that uh, she's a, a great career diplomat, and of course, uh, we look forward to, I look forward to having a conversation with her later today. And that being said, if there's anything else, I'll update you. Did you tell that you felt that you got caught? 